hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today we are going to do a bit of a declutter um <coughs> excuse me i have been um dreading doing a declutter for ages now but i have to declutter now because my collection is pretty again insert disclaimer here my collection is pretty big because i used to work in a makeup store i used to get gratis um my family would buy me give me gift cards i would when i got gift cards at work my gift cards went to sephora so it was it is it is not was it is kind of an extensive collection so i every now and then i do declutter things i do go in and like um do a little like culling of the herd if you will because I don't like to have stuff sitting around that I don't use. So I want to, um, I want to get rid of things that aren't like getting used in my collection, find them a better home, what have you. All right. So let's get started. All right. So you guys see my pile of stuff over there. All right. There we go. Can you, can you see it? Let's see if I can adjust my angle. There we go. Can you see it? Okay. We're going to start with... Um, whew, let's start with the, an easy one first. Um, so, the storybook collection, um, fairy tales... What is this? Storybook Cosmetics Fairy Tales palette. I think this one, Little Brayer Rose. Um, she's going to go... You guys, this one's really bulky. And I find that I have these colors over and over again. And this is going to be a theme for this declutter is I have these colors over and over again. I did not purchase this one. I got it in a boxy charm. So I'm not, I'm not as like, <laughs> I don't want to say I'm not as like, um, connected to this, but it's easy for me to let this one go. All right. Okay, another one that I got in a boxy charm is this Palm Springs Dreams Too Faced one. I think this might be my last. No, I lied. This is not my last Too Faced palette. But you guys, Too Faced palettes are inconsistent in their pigmentation, their just blendability. It's very inconsistent. This shade right here, dry, Dirty Martini, is literally what look at me look at me you guys look at me you do you see how hard I'm digging into this and look at that that's it like it's just very inconsistent in their like pigmentation like this one is okay that's last call this is like the only reason I would hold on to this palette is this TFTI or whatever it's called that's the only reason I'd hold on to it this blue is just mm, it's just all right like on a whole, Too Faced is just inconsistent. They should change their name to, to something that reflects their ability to be consistent. All right. This is the um, Ace Beauté uh, Scarlet Dusk palette. I just, I don't, the colors don't speak to me, which is funny because I have the Natasha Denona Sunset Sunrise palette, both of those. And I like those colors, but that one just doesn't speak to me. The ColourPop Through My Eyes palette, um, the collaboration that they did with I Love Sarah E. Another one of those ones that I have these colors elsewhere. Um, the Really, the only color that really would make me keep this is Emerald Dream. This green one up here. And this one right here that's called Flex. Like, look at this. This is a taupey nudie dream like beautiful that would be worth keeping but can I keep a palette for one thing I don't know I might actually see if I can depot because I don't well if I can find a friend who, look at these colors you guys look at these colors they're like hmm Colourpop is another one that's inconsistent as well in their like pigmentation but that this love I love Sarah E collab was delightful um I want to give it to a friend and I'll probably give it to him as a hold. All right, let's continue with the ColourPop train. 
The Dream Street palette from Kathleen Lights. Mine looks fairly untouched. I'm like, ugh, I'm so hesitant to get rid of this because I know I can never get it again. But these two shades right here, like these are my shades, people. These are like my shades. But I have... I have the Latte palette from Dominique Cosmetics, and I think I can get rid of that without feeling bad because I think the Latte palette has those shades in there. All right, let's continue on ColourPop. We have the um, It's My Pleasure, no, Ooh La La. Uh, it's all right. It's a pink palette. I don't really, like, pink is not my, like, end all be all as I sit here with the love palette from Natasha Denona, but it's not my end all be all, but whatever. Um, this palette here from ColourPop is the, it's my pleasure. Uh, the colors I like in here, obviously earth shine, like look how much I've used out of it. And then I also obviously love Mr. Sandman. Like this color is gold. Like this color is the goat to me anyway. Like, look at this. Okay, Mr. Sandman. Here. Like, I don't know why I... Oh, this is not doing it justice. All right, let's do this again. Okay. Like, there. Like, look how beautiful Mr. Sandman is. Anyway. So, Mr. Sandman and Earthshine. So, this one right here in the middle are, like, the two colors that I always use out of this palette. And you know what? When I bought some ColourPop singles... I bought like a palette of singles and both those colors came in those as singles. So I don't need this. So that one can go too. And then the last ColourPop one that I can see right now is the Mar palette. Again, bronzy. Oh, well, now this color here kind of looks like Emerald Dreams. Oh, but it's so hard. It's not soft and buttery. Like this color in here, so this bronze color up here is so soft and buttery. And so is this one. Oh, no, this one's not buttery. This one's kind of hard. Mm, let's try this other one. Mm, yeah, it's okay. So those are the four shimmers that are in there. I have these three shimmers over and over again. This one, I probably could find something similar in one of my many palettes that I have. So she goes as well. And as you can see, there's inconsistency in the formula, inconsistency in the palettes. It's a whole thing. All right. I hesitated on this one. So this is the Dose of Colors, Katie and Desi collab. I love this shade right here. Oh, look at this shade. It's like that beautiful olive. Oh, man. You know what? And then this shade is okay. This is not a very consistent shade for me, but it's just all right. This shade shattered on purchase. Like, but look at this beautiful blue. Ugh. Look at this shade right here. Like the shimmers in here are Gore Gina. Like, look at all five shimmers. How can I hold this? Ugh. All right, I'm hesitating on this one. I'm hesitating. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, I have the Makeup Geek one. Yes, this is the Makeup Geek and Many MUA palette. This is the collab that they did together. And this is the collab Manny did with Morphe, which pretty much is repetitive as hell. Like these shades, it's repetitive basically towards what he has in the... um makeup geek one like the morphe palette is okay like i should keep this for my like makeup library or whatever like just for whatever reason oh i didn't wipe off my last finger here but look at this like these shades from morphe they're nice they're, they're, i'm not gonna lie morphe has some nice shades but like these are like basically he like this shade right here and the shade on my pinky, like the Morphe one, not as pigmented as the Makeup Geek one. But like, do you see that? I really want to depot this. And I think I might. 
I think I might depot just that shade. Um, like it's basically he just basically recycled the makeup geek one and did his new coll- his collab with Morphe. That's it. That's how I feel. Um, I think the highlighters are okay. I mean, they're all right. Like this one's too icy. This one's just like generic as hell. Um, but like, look at this. Like, can you even like, no, (sighs) you know what? Maybe I'll keep this Morphe one. No, no, no. I'm not keeping it. I'm not keeping it because all these shades that I'm like looking at, I have a million times over. So no, this one, I'm just going to try and depot this one. I will have to figure it out. I wonder if this is magnetic. I think this might be magnetic. So I might be able to pop that sucker out first experiment with one that I don't care if it breaks. All right. So I have three Anastasia Beverly Hills here that I'm getting rid of. I have three left in my collection. Um, I have sultry. I have the Jackie Ina one. And then I have the blue one. What is that blue one called? Riviera. Um, I haven't used Riviera yet. I'm going to give it a shot this summer. And if I don't like it, off it goes. All right. So first I'm getting rid of prism. Yep. You guys, this, this was, a this was ahead of its time. This was ahead of its time. I love the shade Throne. Like, Throne is the goat. Osiris is beautiful. Sphinx, again, you guys can see, like, my color wheelhouse is these beautiful, like, bronzy gold, like, coppery gold. Like, bronze, copper, gold, those are all my shades. Those are my shades right there. And this palette has it all. Like, look at this. Like, this palette has it all. Like, the Throne would be worth keeping this whole palette for. Because look at Throne. Like, look at it. Like, it's so beautiful, dark, deep, delicious. But I have these shades a million times over somewhere, I'm guessing. And if I don't have Throne, I don't... How often do I wear a color like Throne? I might have something similar in in my singles. All right. She goes. She goes. I'm going to stop swatching because every time I swatch, I get all stars in my eyes and glitter in my eyeballs. Well, not not literally. Figuratively, I get glitter in my eye because I'm like, oh, they're so pretty. I want to keep them. No, you don't need them all. Beautiful shades. Beautiful shades. I am going to go ahead and get rid of these as well. And this was the Norvina one. And last but not least from Anastasia, we will be getting rid of sultry. No, I lied. Subculture. Um, Adorn, love. Electric, love. And those were the only two ones that I liked. I liked the mattes. I liked this axis, edge, rowdy. I liked all the mattes, but the No. Again, inconsistent pigmentation, like hard to work with palette and whatever, what have you. <sighs> I got this right as it was being discontinued, the Urban Decay Smoky Palette, and I shouldn't have got it. Again, stars in my eyes because it was on sale, like on a nice discount. Oh, but this, ta- oh, the shade is beautiful. Like a nice Ragey brown with like oh it's right up my alley but I don't use this palette enough even when I had it in my collection it did not get used a lot because I don't do smoky eyes a lot mm. hmm <laughs> well no, because I kept Sultry, so I can get rid of that one. Because Sultry is my cool to I have Sultry and I have Mary Jane from Melt. I, whatever. So I bought this bundle on Mercari so I could get the Latte palette. And they sent me this House Labs one. This House Lab one is not like... I've never used it. I don't know. 
And this is when House Labs was being sold at Amazon. And I didn't even bother trying it. So, yeah, it's not for me. This is lightly pigmented. I'm going to see if my friend, I have a friend who is into lightly pigmented makeup. I wonder if she'd want it for her daily use. Anyway, this is the Violet Voss Holy Grail palette. Um, You guys, don't mind my ashy hands. I, I love the shimmers in here. I do. I do. I do. I love the shimmers in here. I love the... Okay. Let me put it down so you guys can see it. Okay. All right. You guys see it? Okay. Perfect. This row at top, except like, okay. So these three, these first three shades go, uh, transition, not actually transition, not needed. So from hashtag on, yes, I would love this palette to have been from hashtag on because this shade and bestie really on the eyes would look the same you don't really need that. And like, like these three shades, like damn near look the same. So a lot of redundancy. Plus I have the Natasha Denona gold palette, so I can actually like make do with that, which is also part of the reason why some of these should and can go. Okay. The pure festival palette you guys, I actually enjoyed this palette a lot. I don't even know why I'm getting rid of it. Like, look at these shades. Like, nobody talks about this brand. Like, it's not on people's list of, like, whatevers. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't... I'm not really big on the glitter being in the palette, but... You know what? Oh, yeah, the glitter. Mm -mm, girl, the glitter. Uh-uh. Like, hard literally literally no no to the glitter people no like ugh, look at the glitter Ugh, messy 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 i suppose if you use glitter gl no i don't recommend using glitter near your eyeballs because listen all right maybe i'll take this palette back too so all in all though i've gotten three six no i can't count seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen palettes. And I'm getting rid of the Makeup Geek palette. So that's 16 palettes that I'm getting rid of. I'm only taking back two. And if they don't get used by the end of the year, they go. And the only, I'm, the only thing I'm taking out of this Makeup Geek palette is this shade, this shade right here. Mm -hmm. she's she's too good to throw away well not throw away but you know give it to a friend no I actually I'm gonna bin it because those are old like a lot of these palettes probably will go into the bin because they're so old and I don't want to give it to people when it's that old but yeah all right so let's talk about some lip products that I am getting rid of um so let's see I'm just going through my box of shame. My box of shame. Oh, shame. Okay, here we go. Lip product. Let's see if I have any more. Okay. Yeah, I got plenty of lip products in here. All right, so ho ho. I lied. I was going to say that. I think that's all my lip products, but I found a hider. I found a hider. There's another. Okay. So here are all the lip products I'm getting rid of. Okay. I'm getting rid of the 
Jeffree Star Cosmetics Sagittarius for no other reason than it went bad. Like, you can smell it. It's gone bad. Yep. I use... I love this color. Like, it literally made me look like I was dead and I loved it. Like, loved it. Okay. Getting rid of that. Um, This is the Bordeaux Lip Gloss from ABH. Um, Getting rid of that because it went bad. But I loved this color as well. But highly pigmented. Gave me, like, luscious layups. And I loved it. Um, maple. Oh, let's smell this. See if it... Yep, it also went bad. But look at this beautiful bronzy color. Like, oh, look at that. I think I got this one in gratis, if I'm not lying. Bordeaux I purchased. And this one I had gotten in gratis. Yep. And I wouldn't have picked this one out for myself, but... What, whatever. All right, I need a wet wipe. You guys, I know you want to see, like, what's in my drawers. <laughs> and you will. You will. I will film those videos. Um, right now I'm trying to get a wipe out. But you will see those videos. I will get there, I promise. Just bear with me. Bear with me. Ooh, look how big this MAC one is. Look at Jesus didn't know that it was this big. Okay. Nope, oh, now I have glitter all over the place. I really do have glitter everywhere. Okay. I bought this, this Tower 28 lip, what is it? The clear lip jelly. And it's there, it's called Chill. I liked this gloss, but this thing went south on me real quick. Like, look at the look at the um what is this called look at the applicator that looks like mm, yeah mm -mm, girl like what is this like mm -mm, yeah no nope, can't put that on my mouth anymore and i'm probably should say the same thing for some of these other ones that i complete that i have in my collection but you know what can't see the color of the the applicator so don't care Okay, um, I have two of the Tardis uh, lip paints. I have the one in Delish. I got this in a Sephora 500 point perk and it's a beautiful color. Went south, but beautiful color. Like there it is. And then of course I rock the dark brown, like the chocolate goddess that I am. Like, look at that. That's like in my favorite color wheelhouse. And this one is... Fortune. I should know this because I love that color. Anyway, so yeah, that's another one that's going. All right, then we're going to talk about a couple dose of colors that's going. Um, I thought I had more, but I replaced these shades on Black Friday because Black Friday they had them half off. So I bought them. This one is cork. They still have this one. I think. Yeah. See, look at that one. Like this is like my shade. Like I said, I love these shades. And then this is chocolate wasted. <laughs> like, look at that shade. So that's like what I love. So definitely, these are going in the trash, right to the trash. They're old, they're old, they're old. Can't give those to nobody. All right, then I'm getting rid of a couple ABH ones. I've replaced these because they were half off on Black Friday. And these are the lip ones, but this is another lip gloss in warm bronze. I think this one I actually picked out myself. Like, look at the shade. Like, look how beautiful this is. Yeah. That, that one's going. The ABH ones tend to, like, go old pretty fast and start to smell weird. All right. Here's Trust Issues. Replaced that one. Like, I love Trust Issues. Oop. Wear that one all the time. And then this one is Ashton. Also replaced that one because I love this color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. Lip liner. Sometimes no lip liner. And then this one is Bohemian. Nobody talks about this shade, but look at the shade. Look at the shade. I know it's because it makes you have the butthole lips, but I love these shades from ABH. All right, let's wipe my hands off. 
All right, but they're going. All right, so two things from ColourPop that's going. It's these um, Lux lip things. This one is the lip oil in Hot Shot. And then this is their gloss in Come Through. I actually enjoy these, but they start, they're like icky smelling already. And like, I don't like that. They don't hold up well. They don't age very well. And I think I probably should go through my lip collection one more time again and like get rid of some stuff. But yeah, these are nice. Like, I like them. Okay. We're getting rid of two Fenty things. Um, This is the Fenty... What is this? The Fenty blah, 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 blah. Stunna Lip Paint in... What the heck is this? Underrated. The purple one is underrated. And then the other one is uncuffed. Um, this one went bad, but oh, girls, look at this color. Look at the color. Like, if it didn't, like, smell like rotten, I would put it on my mouth. But I'm trying not to put rotten things on my mouth. This is uncuffed. Not quite the shade I would have picked out for myself, but, you know, whatever. This one I actually also gotten gratis, so yeah, there's that. Um, all right, so those two are going, and then I have this buxom one. This is in the shade, the buxom va va plump come to Dolly. She's going. I just, mm, yeah, like, hmm. This is not my color that I love. Also reminds me of this. Yeah, definitely reminds me of that. Like, if you want, like, this is the Fenty Sun of Lip Paint, and this is the Come to Dolly from Buxom. Like, that's, if that's something you're looking for, just a little show you, it kind of is similar. I purchased this NYX, uh, what is this NYX thing? It's the NYX, um, what the heck is this called? Shine Loud Never Basic uh, Lip Color. Oh, what the heck is this thing called? Um, okay, so it's a high pigment lip shine in the shade. Uh, I don't know what the shade is called, but you guys, you see my color. Like This is like the colors that I love. I did not love this. I really didn't. The color is great. Like The color is beautiful. But I just didn't, I, I just couldn't get down with it. And it went south. As usual. Everything I bought. Like, yeah. And then you have the clear gloss on top. Uh, yeah. 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 Just because something is cheap doesn't mean you need to buy it and experiment on it. Because you know what? In the long run, if you don't wear it, you're still wasting money. All right. My friend gave me these. And it's time to say goodbye to them. It's the Kylie Cosmetics um, liquid lipsticks. And I have the four. I have four. This is rad. I don't even know if she still makes these like shades. Like look how nice this orange shade is. So that's rad. That's say no more. And this is the, uh, this one's a velvet. Ooh. Huh. Didn't know this was a different type of formula. That's the velvet formula. This one is Victoria. Oh, that's actually... Oh, this one's dried up. So that one's Victoria. Ugh. Victoria actually smells pretty good still. It's a little hard to work into the lips though. And this one's Boss. I liked Victoria and Boss the best actually. How about those are going? And then these three are from NARS. They were... Oh, God. I can't even remember what collection they came out with. But this one is Lark Spur. Like, I loved the shade. I loved how, like, light it was. And then this one was Wildflower. Like, look how dark this looks. Like... This, oh, look, look how dark it looks. And then it's just like, mm-hmm. They smell kind of like crayon. 
And then this one was my favorite one, Voodoo Lily. Like, this is what this looks like. Listen. And it just, like, went on, like, a whatever. Mm-mm. I'd be putting this on my mouth like I don't have any damn sense. N nope. Definitely needs to go. Anyway. Yep. So, that's those. All right. And then the last thing for lips that I can see right now is this little YSL vinyl cream stain in the shade. You know what? I can't even read this. I don't know what the shade is, but it's a red. Like You can tell it's like dried up cuz it's all like goopy and weird. All right, she goes. All right, there we go. All right, and then let's do some blush. Like, I don't have a lot of blush that I've got that I'm getting rid of, you guys. Oh look, I forgot a lip. See, I forgot another lip product. It's another Tardis lip paint. It's in. I got this in Boxy Charm, and this one is in Insta Famous. Oh, I got that on my mouth. Like, this one is just glitter. It's still good, I think. Because it smells... Still smells good. Maybe I'll keep this one for topping over stuff. And if I don't use it... Yeah, it's, this one still smells like chocolate. I'm going to keep that one. Because, you know, I might do a glitter lip topper thing. And I don't want to have to go out and buy a glitter lip topper. I feel like I had like a, whatchamacallit, oh, what is that brand called? Ugh, Jouet one, a Jouet lip topper somewhere. It might actually turn up somewhere. Okay. I am getting rid of, oh, look, I have two sing single shadows in here. These are from Sigma. This one is in the Shout. It's a yellow. And then... Excuse me, this one is in catch. Yeah, I don't need these. I've got enough single shadows that I actually don't use enough of anyway. And all right, well, oh yeah, I have another single shadow in here in the shade. Um, this is from Ace Beauté, and this is in the shade. This is in French Vanilla. Still feels like it's got some life in it yet. So I'm going to try and get it to somebody who might use it. Just like a little dab on their eyes or something. All right. But she can go. All right. And then... trying to find oh I have another lip product hmm interesting you guys I don't really have a lot of blush I want to get rid of like I went through my whole collection you guys my whole collection and I don't have a whole heap of blush I want to get rid of I don't see any more blushes nope I think that's it okay so we can do this fast I am getting rid of the Illamasqua powder blush in tweak the cap is broken and I just don't like this pink salmon -y color on me at all um this is the radiant magenta ambient lighting blush from Hourglass. I don't know what I was thinking. You guys, this thing is so, like, I don't know. Maybe I'll give it a shot this summer, winter. It kind of makes me look dead-ish. Like, honestly, casket ready. But I'm going to give it a shot and see if maybe, maybe it's me. Ugh.
having a hard time getting stuff out, getting out the wipes. In case you're wondering, you guys, I'm using the MAC Gently Off Wipes with my cellar water. I got these free from purchasing something, and that's the only reason I have them. So I don't intentionally go out and buy wipes. I use makeup erasers. Okay. All right, so there's that. And then I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills blush trio in cocktail party. Uh, yeah, too light. I have this Too Faced Peach My Cheeks melting powder blush infused with peach and sweet cream. I liked this blush. Like, I actually enjoy this blush from Too Faced. It's just... I've had this forever and I think it's about time I get rid of it. Like, look at this color. Like, mm hmm. Like, beautiful. All right. Here, here lies the parts that is probably going to shock you all. I'm about to shock the world. Wait, I think I have some MAC stuff in here that I want to get rid of too. Girls, 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 girls. So, yeah, I do want to talk about this. This is the Riri collab with MAC that she did back in the heyday. This is the Hibiscus Kiss. I use this as a blush. It's got to go. This is the Riri um, Bad Girl Gone Good powder blush. It just doesn't work for me. Um, and I think that's it. And now, for what's going to shock you all. Oh, no, I, I lied. This is the Caitlyn Jenner Powder Blush in Buddy. When Caitlyn Jenner did a collab with MAC. You guys, tell me why I thought this was going to work for me. Tell me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's what I thought. Nobody can tell me why. I want to keep this for the packaging. But this is, like, so old. It's the Flatter Me Pearl Matte Face Powder from the Archie Collection. I want to keep that for the packaging. Let me clean it up a little bit. Let me clean this up a little bit. Okay. So, yeah. I want to keep this for the packaging because I like this packaging. I have the t-shirt. Yeah. They did a t-shirt with that collection for the employees and I have a t-shirt. Anyway. I think that's it. Okay. Ooh, my legs are killing me. I need to stretch. Hold, please. I've been sitting for 38 minutes. You guys, my legs are killing me. I have to stretch them out. So if you see my flannel slippers, please don't be shocked. Anyway, I have this bronzer from MAC. It's the... I can't even pronounce this. Their bronzing powder. This was the, the deepest... Like, when MAC used to do shades, they used this was like the deepest they would do, like, bronzing shades when they did collabs. It's like, who's this going to work for? Nobody. Anyway, I'm going to try and back to Mac them, even though they've changed their back to Mac policy. I'm not too happy about that. So now you can't get the free lipstick. And then also in my Mac bag that I'm get getting rid of is this liquid last liner in Cocoa Bar. It just needs to go. I have these two from the Venomous Villain collection. Um, this one is She Who Dares and this one is My Dark Magic. I remember when they did this, how like people bought this up and they would sell this for like a hundred dollars a piece. And they did the same thing with the Marilyn Monroe lipstick collections. And that was just ridiculous. And then this is another Mac 
eyeshadow. Oh, look how beautiful this blue is. And this is in Sea and Sky. I don't think I'll be decluttering these. I thought I would, but listen. Sometimes you just have to change your mind. All right, this is the MAC Ignite Wonder Face Palette. You guys, I am a MAC fan. I've been shopping with them since I was 18 years old. I bought my, that was the first lipstick product high end I bought and I thought I was the shit. And I'm just, I'm at a loss. Like this is like, okay, this works. This works. This one works, I guess. And then uh, maybe I'll give this, oh, well, now it's working. Like I could barely get pigmentation out of this. And I don't know, like I'm a little, all right, let me give it a shot. Let me give it a shot. Cause I don't want to just give up on something when I don't have to, cause I don't have to declutter everything. Like I don't want to do like these massive declutters and then regret it, but okay, continuing on. These two tart ones are going. They don't work for me. Like I, I have tried and I, I have, I have tried like the exposed highlight. I wanted this to work so, so bad. Like I wanted this to work, but no, I need to, no, I need to give up on that one. All right. This one in, um, what is this stunner? Okay. Like, you would think it would be deeper. No, same ashy shit. So, that one's going. It's just a cool tone ash. Like, this is warm ash, and then this is cool tone ashy. So, those can go. I might be able to give them to a friend. Guys, who remembers when ABH came out with highlighters? Their first highlighter. This is in Peach Nectar when they did their first single highlight. Ugh, let's see. Let me blend that out because, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. And then this is the Mac and Star Trek collab they did back in the heyday. And this one's Strange New World. Ugh, like, look at the swirl on this, the pattern, beautiful. Ugh. Um, this color is more of a blush for me. Maybe I'll give it a chance as a blush. Sometimes you got to reinvent what you use things for. No one ever talks about these invisible glow powders from Bare Minerals. Actually, barely anyone talks about Bare Minerals. I am almost, I don't know why I don't continue to use this. I know because my face started breaking out and I was getting rid of all the products that I thought was Mess, was too old to be using on my face so I like to use this as an all over like um finishing powder instead of highlight but yeah that's what it looked like it's beautiful so and this is the invisible glow powder in tan so that one goes too the only reason I'm getting rid of this Becca one you guys you're gonna have to pry my Becca ones out of my cold dead hands but this one shattered and this is chocolate geode yep i didn't even even have to look at it to know it's chocolate geode i repressed it and it still broke again so it was like it's time it is time for her to go all right and these wet and wild highlighters yeah this one is the Mega Glow Highlighter in Precious Petals. Remember when everybody and their mother were talking about this? I'm not flipping you off, I promise. Yeah. Like you can see, I got quite the use out of this one because this one, um, this is Crown of My Canopy. This one's like a nice dark, richer color on my skin. Yeah, but they can go. This one, this one reminded me of Stereo Rose from MAC. Um, I had that at one point, but this one is Sandgria Castles. That one's going. 
This one is Boozy Brunch. Oh, this one is falling out of its pan. Like, look how, like, icy that one is. Like, down there. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that one can go. And then this is the Maybelline Master Chrome in 100 Molten Gold. This is the very first one that they did. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's going too. This is the Pretty Vulgar Highlighter. I got this one in a boxy charm, And... This is Shimmering Swan Sparkling Sass Highlighter. Like, mm, there it is. Mm, there it is. I'm keeping, so I'm already keeping, I'm keeping one specific highlighter, even, actually two, even though I hate them, but I refuse, I refuse to give them up. I wonder if you guys can guess what they are. I'm not going to say. I, I'm hoping you guys can guess. Let's just say. All right. Let me just tell you. Let me just tell you. Because I don't know if you guys can guess this one. It's a Pat McGrath one. The hockey puck one that she did for the very first highlighter that she came out with. I'm. Listen. Not giving it up. And then the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude. So this is Mirame from Dose of Colors. I might actually keep this one because when I used it one day, it was really, it like looked really dark on me and now it's just like blended right into my skin perfectly. So I might keep that one, but I am getting rid of this ColourPop one instead. Oh, look, there is another one in here. Okay, so I'm getting rid of this ColourPop highlighter in Wisp. I really love this and it was almost like... I am literally going to like hit pan, but it's so old. I need to get rid of it. Like, and this is a, like, this is old. This is a cream product and it's very old. So I should get rid of it. And if I want it again, I'll buy it later. But I don't really use a lot of cream highlighters, to be honest. I think that was like the only one in my collection. This is another ColourPop single and single, sh this is a ColourPop single shadow. And this is the um good boy uh super shock shot i think this is one of the ones that they do for like um charity for the ncla whatever that charity is that they do every year but this one dried out yeah dried out so now it's like a powder i suppose i could use it as an inner highlight but yeah meh all right that one can go All right, I think, oh yeah, I have these two Milk Makeup Highlighting Sticks. This one is in Mars. That's what that looks like right there. And then this one is in Supernova. I feel like Milk needs to, like... If this was in a smaller thing, I could get down with it, but it's massive. I will never finish this. And cream does not hold up very well. Hmm. No, I, I keep... See, I have a hoarder mentality. Like, I always want to keep stuff, even though I should be getting rid of it. So, no, that's going to go. Um, the next thing is foundation. You guys. Those are all the foundations I'm getting rid of. Let's start with when I purchased. So I purchased this um, Kat Von D KVD Beauty uh, 
what is it called? I don't know. Caritas, Veritas, Deritas, Kindness, Vegan, Duties. I don't know. Listen, we don't know what they're called anymore. Let's just say KVD, True Portrait in 10066. I liked this one. Like, I used it, I think I used it all up. Because when I squeezed it, nothing came out. So I assume it's all gone. So I liked the packaging. Very gothic inspired. Um, I wish it wasn't white though. Because as you can see, it gets messy. And this squeezy thing, not interested. But yeah, this was good. Um, the I think they're discontinuing this. Um, but this is the Locket Foundation. I have the shade Deep 71 and Warm Medium 70, 65. Girl, you can read. Loved the packaging. They recycled, they redid the packaging and yeah, just didn't get around to using them before they went south. Uh, this is the Dior Skin Forever, Forever, uh, I don't know. It's the 050 shade. Getting rid of that one, too. Didn't get a chance to use it. This is the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation in 6.5 and the shade 6. They got rid of those, so whatever. This is the Lancome Tint Idol. Um, what is this? Tint Idol 24 Hour Wear in the shade uh, 410. Getting rid of that one, too. Um, the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation in the shade Deep Sand. Getting rid of that. Makeup Forever Matte, matte Cover Y445. Um, it's old. They're all old, except for the this one. So they all went bad. The NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer in Martinique. The um, Milk Makeup Sh um, Matte Foundation in the shade Cinnamon. Actually a good shade. I didn't really care for this. I used a lot out of it because it's down to here as you guys can see, but I didn't care for it. The Smashbox Studio Skin in 4.0. There goes the camera. Hold, please. All right, that's going to. All right, so there's that. The foundation is gone. So that's that. All right, let's get some powder in here. Oh, look. I do have the So Hollywood highlighter from ABH that's going as well. Oh, there goes my nail. Popped right the heck off. Yeah, we'll do them later. Whatever. Um, here's some powders that we're getting rid of. I did not purchase any of these, just so you are aware very little attachment to them so they can go a lot of the other stuff I did purchase so I have more of an attachment to them so just so you are aware but I did not purchase these this is the Marc Jacobs um, perfection powder in 100 finish line it's just a translucent powder Mine is disgusting looking. Just, yeah. Yeah. There's that. It doesn't stay closed. So that's why I had that rubber band on there. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro in the shade Chai number 26. It was too light. Or, I'm sorry, too dark. The KVD powder. I just started noticing my face breaking out, so I got rid of, like, any powder that was too, 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 too old. But, yeah, this one was good. Liked it. The Cover Effects Powder. 
This is in the shade Translucent Deep. I like it. The Milk Makeup Powder. Hi. I don't know. The Blur and Set is all right. This Bare Minerals, the original powder. Mm, did I even use this? Yeah, I didn't care for it. It was not that memorable. All right, let's do some concealer. Oh, look, I found another lip gloss. This one is Tara from ABH. It's going. As the box becomes emptier and emptier, we find more products in here that should have been done a while ago. Oh, well. Okay. All right. Concealer. Not a whole heap of a lot of concealers going. Um, we've got the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in Caramel. I literally was almost done. Do you guys see, like, the, you, you can see it, right? The, the, the end of the road there. But it went bad, so... I will purchase another one, but I have to finish some of the concealers I bought first in the last Sephora sale. Not this past one, but the last one before that. But yeah, this one is like, I was literally almost done with this one. And then I have two NARS ones. This is the NARS Radiant Concealer in the shade Truffle and then in the shade... Amande. Um, this is the Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless in the shade Warm. Uh, the Tarte Creaseless Concealer in the shade Deep, not Creaseless. Lies. False advertising, I should say. Fenty um, 385 Pro Filter Concealer pretty good. I actually have a replacement for this one already. I did not buy any of these, by the way. These were all gifted to me in gratis. And again, that's why I don't feel so bad about throwing them. Okay. So then this is the Bobbi Brown, um, warm honey, instant full cover concealer. I actually enjoyed the heck out of this when I used it. So yeah, there's that. Love that. The Clinique Beyond Perfecting Super Concealer in the shade 24. This one was good as well. The Lancome Tinty Doll Ultra Wear in 435. This one was good. I am just getting rid of it because I've had it for ever. So all that goes in the trash. All right, let's keep on going because we've been at this for like an hour and there's no cutting, no floor cutting, nothing. All right, let's do primers of all kinds. All right. Okay. I think I've gotten every single primer out of here. Uh, no, light. One more. Okay, so... For primer, we are getting rid of almost everything. Um, but I did, I do have more primers, but these ones are, they're not, they've, they've gone bad. And I don't want to use, like, stuff that's gone bad on my face. Like, I can tell that they've gone bad. Anyway, so this is the, I've per, I purchased this one. So this is the Tatcha, this liquid silk canvas one. It was almost gone, literally. It's literally down to here, but it went bad before I could finish it up. Um, this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. It was all right. Like, it was all right. I mean, whatever. This is the Banana Bright Primer from Ula Henriksen. I didn't even, I don't even think I got to use this one before I had to declutter it. Mm. Look, this Origins one I used, it was all right. It's the Origins 
pour perfecting cooling primer with her. It's, let me show you, you guys, it comes out like this. Weird. I know. So yeah, there's that. Um, then there was the poor professional, um, Matt rescue benefit one. This one is a gel one. I think, yep. It's a gel. Yeah, this one was good too. I liked it. Um, this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Quench one. I got this as a point perk from Sephora. It's also a gel one. I liked it. That was good. Um, the Beauty Amplifier one from Sephora. I used it. Ugh. It was alright. But, mm, yeah, it's got some, like, stuff on it. Mm, yeah, no, not putting that near my skin. The Professional pearl one um i don't know if i really saw any like pearlescence in it per se but it was good like it works like the original so there's that the milk hydro grip one yeah i wish this one wouldn't have gone bad but wishes and dreams because i actually liked this gripping one but nope, I can smell it. It's not good. Mm -hmm. This one's gonna go. I might replace this one though. Yep, I might replace that one. All right, and then <sighs> the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. This is the glitter one. No, this is no, this is the regular one. It's all right. Like, I mean, it's a primer. It works. Lancome's Definisils. No, no, is it? No, it's the Sills Booster. I bought this one. I like it. It's their pri mascara primer from Lancome. It's white. Yeah. Love it. I like it. All right, let's see what's left in the box. See, we're at the bottom of the box now. I got some nail polish in here. Never even used this one. Pretty sure I bought this one, actually. Uh, never use it. Probably will give it to a friend. Uh, these nail ink ones that were supposed to smell like chocolate, I, I bought these. And yeah, they were standing upright. And they started doing this. And yeah, they're going. Um, this one is... Petite 4 from Orly. This was like a coveted color by so many people back in the heyday. Uh, L'Oreal Paris nail color in the shade. Sorry, that was my mouse. Um, what is the shade called? Oh, members only. And then this is a Zoya nail polish. I have a lot of Zoya nail polish. This one is the shade Caitlin. Um, this is a Wet n Wild nail polish in the shade Peri per Periwinkle of an Eye. Listen. And then another Zoya nail polish. And I'm pretty sure this is Robin. Yep, this is Robin. And then this is a liquid shadow from Jouet in the shade. It's an eye topper constellation. Nope, got rid of that. This one dried out. This is the glitter. Glitter and Glow Magnetic Metals in the shade Rose Gold Retro from Stila. Mm -hmm. And then this Bobbi Brown is going like she's dry. Like look at her. She started cracking. She couldn't hold up under the pressure. Then this one is a Shimmer and Glow in Kitten. Pretty sure it dried up. Yep, dried up, dried up, dry, 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 dry. These things don't hold up very well. Um, this is another one. This is Cloud Night, Cloud, and it dried up. And this was my favorite one in the trio that I got, and it's also dried up. Yep, yep, yep. There we go, dried up. Yeah. Some nail. I don't know. This nail polish bonder from Orly. That one's gonna go too. I have another one. Um, these are 
are all pencils, eye pencils, lip pencils. These ColourPop ones broke so easy, like so quickly. Like this, like this was my favorite color. I loved all of the eyeliners that are in here. And this one's on an eyeliner. This is like a eye thing from Mally. This one was the like, but it's old. It's called Tobe. It's like right here. Yeah. So yeah, no, it's all going. So that was it. You guys have seen everything that I'm getting rid of. Like every single thing. Like look at this pile over here. Yeah. This is all the crap I'm getting rid of. So yeah, some of it's go. Most of it's going into the trash actually because i would never give people stuff that's old um so yeah this this is just a part of a very much a part of the reason why i'm consciously uncoupling from makeup we're we're still friends we're still friends makeup and i but we're our relationship is not as serious as it used to be it's well it's still serious but it's not like it's not, what what's the word I'm looking for? It's not one of those mindless purchasing kind of deal anymore. It's more we're going to consciously decide what's what comes in. And then if something comes in, make sure that it's after something goes out. All right. Well, thanks, you guys, for sitting through all of this, this whole collection declutter. And I mean whole collection declutter. I do appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Bye.